Hi everybody and welcome from the ice cold build shop. Welcome to a new episode. Uh, today we have to talk about this here, the rear fuselage on my TSI. So this is the first part of the rear fuselage you have to build. Uh, this is the absolute last section of the, the airplane. Uh, here will rest the horizontal stabilizer and the vertical, vertical stabilizer. So this is the first part you build on the rear fuselage. It's really cool to build this, but uh, it's also giving you some some problems uh, you will not expect. Um, when you have built the empanage kit and the wings kit, you are used to the perfect instruction manual. Uh, everything is easy to build. Um, and this changes a little bit when you start building your rear fuselage. Um, you will find soon some problems. The instruction is not as clear as you are used to it. Um, and also the, the order of the build, so which comes first and which comes afterwards is not as clear as you have to do it on the, on the, on the wings. So this behind here is quite okay. Uh, I had two problems here with this build. I still don't know which rivets come in here. Uh, the manual says these are 3.2 millimeter rivets, but 12 millimeters long, and this is very thin here. So I don't know whether you have to use the 8 millimeters uh, or the 12 millimeter rivets here. Uh, and there are only a few 12 millimeter rivets in the in the kit box, so and the number doesn't fit to those. So I have to see whether I have to use the long ones on the other stage of the build or if it's re really meant to use the long rivets in here. The second big problem I had is over here. Um, this part uh, was built uh, not correctly by the factory. Um, I had to trim this, this edge here. Um, I was talking to the factory and to Wilma at Sling Aircraft Builders Europe. Uh, so this uh, part was a little bit longer on, on this stage here. I can show you on the, on the pictures and on the, on the photos I made. Uh, so I had to take the dremel and, and cut this down. Uh, it would have been much easier if I have known before, but I have built everything together. Uh, I have riveted all the parts together and then I found out that this part is not correct. So this was, was really not easy to, to correct this. Um, also down here, um, if, you, if you're working down here, uh, you have to clico a lot of, uh, and a lot of parts ahead. So to be sure everything is like, like it should be and that you can rivet all these, these rivets uh, one after the other. Next you have to build the ribs of the rear fuselage. You can use this chick to position all the parts. It's not a big deal. Um, it's quite a fun uh, project to do that. But you also have to be really careful because in the manual there are some rivets uh, shown in the manual now, but you have to pull them at a really much later state. So for example, here on rib 5 is the wrong uh, rivet direction. You cannot pull this rivet from this direction because of the bend of the green part here. Um, on the next rib, there are two holes on the left side uh, which are riveted on a later stage. Uh, also on the next rib, there will rest another plate of the, the luggage compartment and you should not rivet the two rivets on the left and the right side and also on the top of this part. The next part is really critical. 
uh, it's shown to rivet seven rivets on each side but do not rivet the three rivets um, marked here uh, these rivets will uh, stick to the to the ribs of the center fuselage and will connect the center fuselage to the rear fuselage and you will have big troubles pulling those rivets out again also on the long run you will have a problem if you install the green part um, on the hold down hook there is the lowest rivet you will have problems if you want to install this rivet and you have already installed the green part then we started with the floor of the rear fuselage we aligned all the long runs on the, the floor and as we are used from the other skins we always use clicos and rivets to align all the holes then we checked with the ribs it didn't uh, fit quite well so we checked with other build videos it's always a good idea to check everything with other videos but finally it was okay and we were aligning also the bracket for the gmu 11 this is the compass for the plane and it's in the rear position then we riveted and my son maxi uh, did a really good job on the milwaukee rivet gun and this was uh, really easy and uh, straightforward um, yeah then we turned it over and uh, installed the, the ribs this was also really easy because we have checked everything uh, before uh, riveting the floor um, we used the long runs and some zip ties to uh, hold the long long runs on the on the ribs um, it's really fragile as you can see um, it's really binding around and not really really stiff at this point here we are inserting the rear part of the fuselage uh, we had to make some uh, checks and alignments it didn't fit at the first time uh, then we had to uh, look whether the lashes uh, overlap on in the correct order then you can see we are correcting this at this point but on the final step we could find a really good alignment for this part the next step was to insert the stiffeners for the steps uh, the sling psi has two steps outside of the plane and here uh, the stiffeners inside of the plane so that you can step on the stairs outside it's not really difficult but you have to be really really careful because you have to use stainless steel rivets and it's nearly impossible to drill out the stainless steel rivets so if you made a mistake here it will give you a lot of troubles here you can see us drilling out the three rivets on the on the furthest rib so this is really not an easy task we had to do this on both sides because we did install the three rivets i mentioned before in the in the video um, here we are making the upper stiffener this upper stiffener is a little bit tricky because there are three layers of metal over each other so there is the, the skin then is the long run and then is the stiffener so we are try to align the holes at this stage quite perfectly so that if the, the skin is coming up we don't run into any problems and we do not have to drill out too much of the uh, rivets. Um, we also have installed the, the rudder cables. This was quite okay. Be just be sure that the rudder cables are crossing the right way. This cable from the left side, this is the left side of the plane, uh, is the one who goes above the right cable, goes underneath the other one. There was another small problem on the rudder cables as you can see here 
the inner cables are higher than the outer cables. These had to be changed uh, because the inner cables go down to the rudder, pedals in the front and the outer cables go up to the fuselage and fixed there with some springs. So you have to drill out the rivets there and change these two positions. But it was not really, really a big thing. Here we start um, putting on the side skins, uh, the lower side skins of the rear fuselage. This was really a, a challenging task. We, we spent a lot of time putting on this, these skins and we had to do it three times. So here you can see we start uh, clickering the main structure, the main back structure. Uh, so that the rivets and the holes of the side skins align as good as possible. We are also checking inside if the clickers are going through all the, all the ribs inside. And it's, it's not as easy, easy at this time, at this step, as you can see we're using really, really a lot of clickers. So this is, we try to fill up everything single hole, but at the end of the bottom, as you can see here, we didn't, uh, it was not possible to, to line up all the holes. So we had to get all the rivets out again and start over new and then start over new again. So this was really, really challenging. But at the end we, we came up really, really well. It just came out perfect. A lot of clickers in this, this part and also the, the trickiest thing was the small bands at the, at the end the, and the bottom rivets. Everything came out here quite well. And these are the parts prepared already for the center fuselage. We have already uh, primed everything and this is the organization for the smaller parts all for the, for the center fuselage. So everything is set up for the center fuselage. Then we started riveting. Uh, we started with the four millimeter rivets. Uh, this is the main structure and uh, these rivets have to be really uh, good aligned because the elevator and the horizontal stabilizer and the rudder will rest here. So this has to be really, really good. As you can see, I try not to match drill a lot. Sometimes it's just a little bit of match drilling, but I want to match drill as little as possible. Then a friend and my brother came over, you cannot see them, but they have different hands working now on the planes. So this is quite a lot of work and then you have to make really uh, concentrated work. So this takes uh, almost the, the whole afternoon uh, riveting and checking and riveting. Uh, this part. Um, but we came along quite good and we started riveting all to the to the front of the rear fuselage as you can see here. We had to match drill a little bit at this rib here so this was not not that good aligned at this point but in the front it was quite quite good again and we had to look exactly on the match drilling, but uh, on the on drilling on the on the stiffener, as we mentioned before, uh, here is the the stiffener plate inside, and it's but it it was aligned quite good, and as you can see, it turned out really really perfectly. It was really rewarding process to build this, and this is the first time you see your plane. Uh, getting the shape it's it's meant to be and this is really 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 cool so I really enjoyed it it was not as as simple as uh, I was used to be uh, and it was not as simple as the wings so it is a little bit more challenging but the final result of the rear fuselage is really rewarding. So I hope you liked this episode. Stay tuned till the next time on my TSI.